Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to take up another challenging question from Radical Mathematics. We have to evaluate the expression x power 18 minus 1 over x power 8 plus y power 18 minus 1 over y power 8. x and y is known to us. So let's get started by writing the product of x and y. So I will write x times y. It will become the square root of the square root 7 plus the square root 3 divided by the square root 7 minus the square root 3 times the square root of the square root 7 minus the square root 3 divided by the square root of 7 plus the square root of 3. Using property of radicals, we can write square root 7 plus square root 3 over square root 7 minus square root 3 times square root 7 minus square root 3 over square root 7 plus square root 3. Now I can cancel these brackets from numerator and denominator. Now we are having square root 1 which is 1. So conclusion is xy equal to 1. So from here I can write x equal to 1 over y or we can write y equal to 1 over x. So I will write our expression. Let me call this is e. So I will write e equal to this will be x power 18 over x power 8 minus 1 over x power 8 plus y power 18 over y power 8 minus 1 over y power 8. Now here I can write 1 over x equal to y. So I will be writing this is 18 minus 8 so x power 10. And here I will be writing 1 over x is y. So it is y power 8 plus y power 18 minus 8 y power 10 minus 1 over y is x. So I will write here x power 8. So if I will combine the same exponents then I can write x power 10 plus y power 10 minus x power 8 plus y power 8. So our expression is x power 10 plus y power 10 minus x power 8 plus y power 8. Let's figure this out. So I will add first x plus y. So I can write equal to the values. This is our x plus y. Now I will rationalize our denominator. So I will multiply with the denominators conjugate in numerator and denominator. So here I will multiply with root 7 plus root 3. So I need to multiply here also by the same. Similarly I will multiply root 7 minus root 3 in numerator and denominator for second term. So I will be writing minus root 7 minus root 3. Now you will see the denominator is a plus b a minus b the difference of two e squares and numerator is root 7 plus root 3 whole square. Denominator I will be writing root 7 a square minus root 3 a square. Similarly the second term I will write here root 7 minus root 3 whole square divided by root 7 whole square minus root 3 whole square. Now I will write this power 2 and square root I can cancel. So this will become root 7 plus root 3 divided by square root 4. So that will be 2. Here also root 7 minus root 3 and denominator is square root 4 so it will be key 2. 
now i will be writing here root 7 plus root 3 plus root 7 minus root 3 divided by 2 now we can cancel these two terms so it will become 2 root 7 over 2 which is root 7 so x plus y is root 7 now let's find out a square and cube so i will write here x plus y and then i will consider the squaring and cubing this is equal to root 7 so i will write x plus y whole square equal to root 7 whole square here x plus y whole cube and then root 7 whole cube so i will be writing here x square plus y square plus 2xy equal to 7. Here I will be writing x cube plus y cube plus 3 times xy in bracket x plus y and right hand side will be root 7 times root 7 times root 7. So 7 root 7. Now we know that xy is 1. So let me write here xy is 1. So I will write x square plus y square plus 2 times 1. So 2 equal to 7 or x square plus y square equal to 5. Now from this equation I will write x cube plus y cube plus 3 times 1 xy is 1 x plus y is root 7 so equal to 7 root 7 so i can write from here x cube plus y cube equal to 7 root 7 minus 3 root 7 so 4 root 7 these two equations are important for us because we have to calculate x part 10 plus y part 10 now i will take the product so I will write x square plus y square times x cube plus y cube equal to 5 times 4 root 7 which is 20 root 7. Let's multiply. So x power 5 plus y power 5. Cross multiplication it will be x square y cube plus x cube y square. So I will take x square y square common. So in bracket it would be x plus y. Right hand side is 20 root 7. Now x y is 1. x plus y is root 7. Here it is. So I can write x power 5 plus y power 5 plus 1 whole square times root 7 equal to 20 root 7. Conclusion is x power 5 plus y power 5 is 20 root 7 minus 1 root 7. So it will become 19 root 7. Remember x square plus y square is 5. We will use this for x power 8 plus y power 8 calculation. So I will be writing here x power 5 plus y power 5 is 19 square root 7. Consider squaring. So I will write power 2. Power 2. So a plus b whole square. a square. So I will write x power 5 whole square. b square. So y power 5 whole square plus 2 times x power 5 var y power 5. So I can write x y whole power 5 equal to 19 square is 361 and root 7 square is 7. So once I will multiply both, I will get 2527. And left hand side x y is 1. So x power 10 plus y power 10 plus 2 equal to this much. 
x power 10 plus y power 10 will be 2527 minus 2. So x power 10 plus y power 10 will be 2525. One calculation is done. Only now x power 8 plus y power 8 calculation is left. So I will consider our sum of a squares equation equal to 5. Now I will consider squaring both sides. So I will write x square plus y square whole square equal to, this is whole square, equal to 5 whole square. So a plus b whole square formula again will apply. So I will write a square, so x power 4, b square, so y power 4, plus 2 times x square, y square. Now right hand side will be 25. Now again x y equal to 1. Let's apply. So here it will be 1 square. So I will write x power 4 plus y power 4 plus 2 times 1 square that is 2 equal to 25. So from here I can write x power 4 plus y power 4 equal to 25 minus 2. It is 23. Now x power 4 plus y power 4 equal to 23. I will consider squaring for the very last time. Whole square, whole square. So a square, it will be x power 8. b square, y power 8 plus 2ab. So 2x is power 4, y power 4 equal to 23 square. So this value is 529. Now this is 1 power 4. So I will write x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 2 times 1 power 4 equal to 529. So x power 8 plus y power 8 plus 2 equal to 529. So I will be writing here x power 8 plus y power 8 equal to 529 minus 2. So it is 527. So x power 8 plus y power 8 equal to 527. Now time of evaluating our expression E. So E is nothing but x power 10 plus y power 10 minus x power 8 plus y power 8. Only we have to plug in the values. So x power 10 plus y power 10, this value was 2525 5 minus x power 8 plus y power 8. This value was 527. So if I will take away, I will get my answer. E value will be 1998. This is our final answer. And this brings the end of this video. I hope you will like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget friends to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.